All right, what's up guys? Uh, Steven here. Look, don't make fun of me. I'm wearing my girlfriend's hoodie, okay? It fits, it's comfy, and all mine are either in the wash or in my car, and it's cold outside, I wanna go out there, right? But but listen, the topic I wanna talk about, and this is, look, it's a sensitive topic. People are, people get offended and all this kind of stuff, so I'm gonna say this as polite as possible, and you know, I've been on both spectrums of jiu-jitsu, so I wanna talk about it. The topic is gonna be, Look, sport jujitsu, self defense jujitsu, and I hate separating the two. I hate it. I hate it. But we're going to talk about sport. The difference between sport jujitsu, self defense jujitsu. We're just going to talk about the two because there is a difference. I don't care who you are. There is a difference out there. Um, but when everybody says that, listen, just listen to the full video. Listen to everything that I have to say. I'm not going to make it make it short and sweet. Okay. Look, sport jujitsu, self defense jujitsu. They're both effective in a fight they are they're both highly effective they are i don't care who you are if you say sport jujitsu will not help you in a fight i'm sorry but you're wrong like sports like most people that train jujitsu sport or not they're gonna do fine in a fight just like most people who do wrestling in high school are gonna do fine in a fight just like a lot of people that do football are gonna do fine in a fight they're physical sports like and and like that, so so before we even go into this, we're going to talk about this. We're going to make one basic understanding, okay? Is wrestling self-defense? Here's my argument to it. Is wrestling self-defense? Okay. Wrestling is not self-defense. Is it effective in, in self-defense? Yes, it's effective. It's wrestling. But it's not self-defense. Why is it not self-defense? Because it's not self-defense simply because... <clears throat> No wrestling coach is telling their kids, hey, when somebody tries to punch you, this is how you're going to protect, right? No self-defense or no wrestling coach is like, look, you got an aggressive opponent. This is how you close the distance. Jab, jab, level change, double leg. This is how you take down somebody trying to punch you. Nobody, no wrestling coach teaches that. In fact, they teach you how to wrestle in a sport environment. That's what wrestling is. They teach you how to wrestle in a sport environment that is... That's just wrestling. That's okay. I'm not, that's not a bad thing. That's just that's just wrestling. So it's not really self defense, right? So when you talk sport jujitsu, when you talk sport, and like I said, I hate saying sport and I hate saying self defense because it should just be jujitsu. It should just be jujitsu. And we're, we'll talk why it's no longer just jujitsu and why it has separated sport jujitsu, self defense jujitsu. All right, but sport jujitsu is nothing more than jujitsu being taught. In a sport environment, it's just teaching in a sport environment. That's where jujitsu, where sport jujitsu has has gone. Whereas self defense jujitsu is jujitsu being taught in a self defense environment. They are different environments, and they need to be talked about. Okay, when you're trying to talk to a five year old kid, a seven year old kid, an eight year old, a ten year old kid about how to deal with the bully that's in school. You're teaching them self-defense. You're teaching them a different level of self-defense. You're not going to teach them how to pass the guard. The kid doesn't have a guard, okay? You're not going to teach them uh, how to do certain things from the mount because there's no need to do certain things from the mount like that. You're going to teach them simple wall clinch, leg hook takedown, mount. The guy's going to push your chest because he doesn't know what he's doing. You're going to high swim. He's going to try to roll you over, and then he's going to roll to his belly. And when he takes his belly, you're going to choke him. Okay, or if you get taken down, here's stage one guard. Here's the guard where you hug the head and you keep them tight, so that way the guy doesn't guy doesn't punch you, right? And that's like there's there's a difference between the environments, and that's just what what needs to be talked about. Is sport jujitsu still effective in a self defense fight? Yes, it is. Sport jujitsu is still effective. It is, but it's not at the same time. If you've ever, unless you're, unless your sports school has you actively drilling self defense, then I consider it just a jujitsu school, and that's how it should be. That's how it should be. Jujitsu should be just jujitsu. It shouldn't be self defense. It shouldn't be sport, and it's only just jujitsu if, under one circumstance, is if you teach sport and self defense. Jujitsu is it's a dude. It's you need both sides. You need the self defense side. You need this. You need the sport side. The sport side, and I started out under a sport environment for four years, and now the past four years I've been in a self defense environment. And I didn't like the self defense environment when I first came came in. I was very resistant to it. I was a purple belt already coming in, and I have people telling me that I wouldn't do good in a fight. I'm like, you're full of shit. I was like, I'll fuck all your fucking blue belts up, like grappling. And even 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 with gloves, and we put that on. Now I'm an athletic guy. Let's be real. The average person training jujitsu is not your athletic guy, and the average person is not your purple belt. They're a white belt, 
and they're usually out of shape and they're usually not really athletic and that's what they're there for to learn how to protect themselves right so they're already losing that athletic side of the sport side of this teaching but here's my thing here's my take on it the sport teaches you how to it teaches you how to properly control the human body it teaches you how to twist people's hips properly how to pin the knees properly how to how to kill frames when they're framing properly how to how to counter your submissions so that way your submissions become better whereas the self defense side teaches you the realism of a fight a realistic fight when someone's standing toe to toe like like let me move this webcam so you guys can see this like look when you're sitting here and and we're talking about a real fight right in a, in a self def in a grappling tournament a grappling tournament i'm here i'm bending over i've got my hands up this is how i'm playing the game right in a self defense fight you're not like this you can get punched in the face in a self defense fight i'm like here i'm up i'm sitting back my hands are up my hand, i'm i'm a little bit more aware um when i'm sitting in the guard in self defense i can keep a single collar tie on your neck i can just hold your arm like this well you're not doing that in a fight in a fight i'm full on bear hugging your head Got a full, full on front headlock on your head, full on over wrap on your arm. I'm keeping you tight so that way the only punches you're throwing are at the side of my body rather than my face. So my head's on the side that I have your arm covered. That's a proper, that's the difference between a fight and, and a sport environment. And that's what, that's what needs to be clarified. I see a lot of people debate this sport, self defense. And, and look, I've seen schools that have been. So far, self-defense, old school self-defense, where the moves have never, never adapted and they've never learned how to pass the guard and they've never learned how to get out of the mount properly or how to escape an armbar. And I've seen schools like that. They're so old school and they've never evolved. I've seen schools like that. But, and, and or not, I've seen schools like that. And guess what? Those are shitty schools. Those are shitty schools. If you never learn how to pass the guard, if you never learn how to do leg locks, if you never learn how to escape the arm bar, if you never learn how to sweep from the guard, your, your, your jiu-jitsu is lacking. It really, it truly is. It truly is. Jiu-jitsu as a whole teaches you everything, okay? It, that means sport and self-defense, okay? But there is a difference between the two. You have to teach a difference between the two. How do you de-escalate a situation? You don't fight everybody that calls you, that calls you a name, Right, and so we teach that with the kids. With the kids, we do the talk, tell, tackle. We do. We have, a, we have a series how to deal with the with the bully, right? When you have a kid, you have a five year old. You don't teach your five year old De La Hiva guard. No, you tell him put the fucking feet on the hips, keep your hands up, and keep them away. Don't let them jump on you. Right? You have to be. It's different. It's different. It is different. Your guard is different for a fight. In a fight, and and submitting somebody isn't isn't like what you need. Like you don't have to always tap somebody. Just positional control wins the fight. But is wrestling, if positional control wins a fight, that means that wrestling should be self-defense, right? Wrestling is not self-defense. Unfortunately, it's, it's a sport, just like sport jiu-jitsu. It's a sport. Now, jiu-jitsu taught with self-defense mindset, talking the difference of self-defense. Because look, when you're, grappling in a, when you're grappling in a tournament, all right, the truth is when you're grappling in a tournament, when you're grappling in your gym, 99% of the time when you grapple in your gym, there are, not punch, there are no punches involved. You get to pick and choose on who you're rolling with. Typically ends up being your someone somewhat around your size, right? Especially in a tournament. You go to a tournament, you are in a weight class. Well, that doesn't happen in a fight, right? People are punching you in a fight. You don't. You have to grapple with people out in a fight. You have to grapple with people that are heavier. You have to fight people that are heavier than you typically in most cases, right? Um, well, that doesn't happen in a sport tournament, right? Uh, you're on a soft ground, a big open soft ground. Well, guess what? That's not what it's like in a real fight. In a real fight, you're probably going to be on different levels of ground maybe it's grass maybe it's concrete maybe it's you know against the wall or stairs or you know in the bar against like against some tables there's other people around maybe the guy has a friend maybe he doesn't have a friend maybe it's a situation where the guy is just bigger and stronger and i'm sorry but your jitsu isn't going to be effective so you just need to learn how to get back to your feet so you can run or get back to your feet so you can draw a gun or get back to your feet so you can grab a weapon of some sort Okay, so sport jujitsu not only or self defense jujitsu teaches you not only how to protect and survive within a within a fight atmosphere, a self defense situation, but also teaches you how to how to get back to your feet and get out of there. In fact, I do that drill with the little kids and the older kids quite often. With the kids that I teach, I do that drill quite often, where they're in the guard and it's like, hey, I have one person you have to get back to your feet, other person you have to bring them to the ground. 
Where do you see that in self-defense? Or where do you see that in a sports school? I've never been, I've been to numerous sports schools. I've never heard of or seen anybody do that other than the mixed martial arts programs, the MMA programs. Well, I'm sorry, but your 50 year old, you know, woman, Miss Betsy, doesn't want to enter your MMA program or your 16 year old Susie, who's very, not, not very confident in being bullied in school, she's not going to enter your MMA program. Oh. Everything just kind of closed. I don't know if that ruined my video, but my, my computer just kind of turned off a little bit. We're good though. So like, like they're not going to enter your MMA program. Well, that, that's not self-defense. Like that, that's, that's not helping them. Who needs self-defense? The, the people that are fighting MMA, they're going to be fine. They're going to be fine. Your top sport fighters, they're going to be fine. They're going to be absolutely fine, right? Just like your top self-defense guy, they're going to be fine. But who are we reaching to that? Who needs self-defense? Not Andre Galval, not John Jones. Who needs it? These young people that have confidence issues, that have you know the st students that have disabilities, um, smaller women that have been sexually assaulted or in an abusive relationship, you know, police officers, military personnel, they're going to need the self defense, and it is slightly different. You can't you cannot dispute that. If you if you think it's not different, you I'm sorry, you're in a cult. If you think it's not different, go put gloves on. I want you to record you and a friend grappling, and then go put gloves on. Start on your feet. And then record you and a friend grappling. Guess what you're going to do? You're going to stand differently. You're going to punch. You're going to control the arms. You're going to worry about it. Now give your friend. Now give your friend on the ground. Let's say he's got a knife, or keys, or a pencil. These are things that you got to take into consideration because these are things that have happened. When pe when somebody's losing a fight, what do they do? They fight dirty. When I, when somebody's dude, I I'm a younger brother. I have an older brother. I'm a younger brother. I've had my brother get on top of me. Guess what? When I'm losing that fucking fight, guess what I do? I bite him. I start biting the hell out of him. I'm pinching. I'm biting. I'm grabbing skin. I'm pulling hair. Watch any women's fight you know, on YouTube. What are they doing? They're pulling hair. Oh, but that's illegal in a sport fight. So tell me how a sport competition is self-defense. Get out of your mind. Any sport jiu-jitsu is not self-defense. The closest thing to self-defense you're going to get is mixed martial arts. The closest thing outside of that is putting gloves on and grappling and punching in the gym. Unless you want to walk out in the middle of the street and punch each other. I don't think anybody wants to do that. So training in a proper self-defense environment is putting gloves on and training with your training partner and punching each other with control. That's a proper safe environment. But if you, don't, if you never put gloves on in your school, if you never put gloves on in your school when you're grappling, if you never talk about when somebody can punch you, when somebody cannot punch you, the differences between self-defense and sport. If you don't talk about those, I'm sorry, but you're training sport jujitsu, and that's fine. If that's what you want to train, that's fine. I have no issue with that, as that's my priority. I don't, I don't train for self-defense. I see the importance behind it. This is why I preach it and I teach it. I don't train for self-defense. I train because I just love getting down and, and the thinking game, the workout, the, the stress reliever, the problem solving. To me, that's fun. The sport's fun. To me, it's not fun getting down and dealing with having somebody try to punch me and block the arms. To me, that's not fun. It is fun, fun, but it's not fun like like it's trying to solve the Rubik's cubes of somebody's spider guard, you know, or reverse Del Hiva guard. That's that's super fun for me. I like that, but I can admit that that's not a fight. That's that's it's not. I'm sorry, but that's not a fight. Like we're talking a self defense fight. It's not a self defense fight. I'm sorry, it's not. Like it's just it's just simply not. You know. So like I said. Don't twist my words here. Sport jiu-jitsu is effective in self-defense, just like wrestling is effective in self-defense, but they are not self-defense. It's not self-defense because neither of them talk about punches being involved. None of them talk about the reactions of an untrained opponent. Nobody talks about it. Nobody talks about the environments of self-defense, the what you're going to feel, the stress inoculation that's going to come. They don't talk about these kind of things. They just teach you how to grapple in a sport controlled environment. In fact, most schools you go to, they have rules like that too. Okay, white belts, you can only do these certain things. Blue belts, you can only do these. Or, or they do scenarios. First one, two, you know, two points, or whoever passes the guard first, you, whoever gets their three points wins, or something like that. You know, So it's like, which is, I look, I understand scenarios, whatever, it's a whole other topic, getting a scenario and development of your students. But the truth is, like I said, if you don't talk about punches and the difference between self-defense and, and and uh, the difference between self-defense 
and and a sport, then you're teaching sport jujitsu, and you should not be able to advertise self defense to your students, and you're lying to your students that you're teaching them that you're teaching them self defense because you're really not. You're teaching them sport. You're teaching them sport jujitsu. You're teaching them. You're teaching them wrestling with submissions. That's what you're teaching them. You're not teaching them jujitsu because you're teaching them how to control in a sport environment. Okay. Now, if you teach sport jujitsu and self defense jujitsu, you're teaching both. You're teaching hey, if some you know when, how to distance management, all that kind of stuff. If you're teaching both, then guess what? You're teaching jujitsu the way it should be taught. Okay. You're teaching jujitsu the way it should be taught, and that's how it should be taught. It should be taught both. You should learn the self defense. You should learn the sport. You need to learn it both because they're both evolving. That's my rant. That's my talk about it. I know everybody, a lot of people got their different opinions. I'm just putting that out there. So everybody that makes a comp, makes a big debate about self-defense and sport, instead of me typing a thousand words and debating back and forth with you, that's my thoughts on it, okay? You're not going to change my mind um, as I've been on both spectrums now, grappling without punches, grappling with punches, grappling with MMA fighters, professional MMA fighters, amateur MMA fighters, being in the corner of amateur MMA fighters, um, and where and training without punches and punches i've been in both spectrums i've been in a fight it's it's all different it's effective sports jiu-jitsu is still effective but i'm sorry but it's not self-defense because it doesn't talk about everything okay so that's my thoughts comment down below let me know your thoughts